I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is uh, January 16th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be installing and using and showing how to use just on a, on a low level, uh, a library for a Python library called OpenPyXL. Now this library will help you uh, create and create and also read from uh, Excel files uh, with Python program. So with that, let's get going. I'm going to show you how to install it and then just and use it to create a couple of simple Excel files. Okay, first before we get started, uh, here's a few URLs which I'll put in the show notes. Here's the OpenPy Excel uh, documentation you can go through. Uh, there's also some examples of some simple usage in here that you can go through. And also during this tutorial, there are a couple of small programs I'm going to make that I've also put out as gist over on GitHub. And here's the first one. And here's the second one. Uh, I'll put links in the show notes, but here's where they are just in case you need to go find them. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing this on Ubuntu 18.04. So here I am logged into an Ubuntu 18.04 box, which is pretty much a fresh install. And if I look at it right now, it's Ubuntu 18.04. And if I do a which pip 3, it's not there, which pip. Uh, we don't have pip installed. So what I need to do is to install Python 3, and which will install pip 3 too, because I plan on uh, running this program in Python 3. So I'll do sudo apt. Uh, now, if you're not using uh, Ubuntu, this is a Python program. They're Python libraries. There's many ways to install these libraries using pip on your own system. You can do it on Windows. You can do it on Mac. I just happen to be using um, Ubuntu here, an Ubuntu server. Uh, so once you, if you if you need to install this a different way, install it a different way. But the programming is Python, so it should just work just fine once I get to the next step. So sudo apt-get install. Uh, Python 3, uh, oh, did I, my notes, Python 3, pip, boom, hit yes to continue on that, and we'll install that stuff. Okay, now if we do, now it's installed, we do a which pip 3, we're good to go. I'm going to use, of course, pip to install this. So, uh, to install these libraries. So I'll do pip3 install OpenPy XL to install the OpenPy XL libraries. And now that we're good to go, now we'll just create a, create a program. So I'll do vi, uh, I'll call this program create uh, xls, xls.py. And so let's see, the first thing we'll do is we will set this up to use uh, Python 3. So in my case, I'll say user, user, Ben, environment, Python 3. Python 3, and then I'll come down here, put in a main, I may not do this, but I do. Uh, and I'll say if da -da -da, name equals equals to. Do this. Now, one thing I like to do is to make sure things are working correctly. So I like to do something as simple as this. So this is just going to print out test. So I'll save this, and I do I'll do a change mod user plus execute create dot xls pi just so I can do that to run it. And good. So we're working. So now I will edit that again. I'll go over here and run it in a different window as I run it. So I'll run over here on the same box. And so now I'll start to edit it. So we need to import these libraries. So I'll do uh, import open import import open pi xl and and let's see from open pi xl import workbook. Boom. And all we're gonna do in this first example is we're just gonna create a simple uh, Excel file. It's going to have uh, one worksheet on it just with a few little pieces of data in it. And we're not gonna do anything special at all. In fact, we're not doing much special at all in this video at all. This is just giving you a quick success. And then from there, you can go start reading the tools. I might do some more videos, but this will give you quick success, make some files. Then you can go start reading um, some more on the Open OpenPy XL tool because you can do a lot more stuff. You can format stuff. There's a lot of little cool stuff, but this is just get you going, make, make you successful real quick. So I'll say WB equals workbook, which is that's my new workbook. And then down here, this is uh, this next one will say grab the active worksheet. 
boom. And so we'll call it worksheet, we'll make a worksheet called 01. This is just one of the sheets. In this case, we'll just do one. We'll say wb.active. And then we'll say set the title of the worksheet. And we'll say ws underscore one dot title equals first, we'll just call it first sheet. Then we'll come down here and say place a few values in it. And we'll say ws, uh, so worksheet for worksheet zero one, and now I can do cell. So I can do cell for cell A1, and there's other ways to do this, but I'm gonna do real simple right now. Put a one in, and so ws zero one for cell B2 equals two. And for the worksheet, oh, zero one, no, I can't. Same worksheet, zero one, and we'll do C3, equals three. So what this should do is on the first cell, one, one, it should be a one, and then B2 should be a two, and then C3 should be a three. So I should have three values kind of going an angle there. And then the next thing we should do is save it. So I'll save it to an Excel file, and I'll say wb.save, and let's call it test uh, underscore zero one dot XLS X, Boom, simple as that. So now I will run this and hopefully it's gonna work. Good, we see that file. Now over here, uh, since I'm actually running it on a server of mine, I'm gonna go copy that file over. Let's see tests underscore zero one dot XLS X. XLS X, copy it here. And then I'll open it up. And there we go. So there's our file. So we can see, first of all, that the cells went in just fine. So A1 is a 1, B2 is a 2, and C3 is a 3. Now you can see there's no formatting on this. There's things you can do to format that. I may do more videos, but in this, quick success, get it going. Also here you see the name of this sheet is called First Sheet. So that works too. So now let's get a little more complicated and then we'll be done with this video. So the next thing I want to do is uh, let's put some... Let's make multiple sheets. So I'll say don't save. Okay, so now I'll come down here and I'll use, um, I'll make a new file. So I'll copy create.xls to create.xls to, and I'll call it two, so I'll make a new one. Create, and I'll open it up. And we'll leave the first part the same, because now I want to leave that part the same, and I'm going to make a second worksheet. But oh, I'll save it to test underscore zero two, so it'll be a new file. So what we're going to do is we'll come down here and you can see where we have ws underscore one wdb.active. Now what happens if we want to make a second one? Well, we cannot, you can't just merely come down here and say ws underscore two equals wdb.active. I think what they're probably meaning by that is what is the active current sheet? And so if I did that, I think ws02 would be the same as ws01 and now I'd be assigning new values to it. What I want to do is I want to make a new worksheet. I want to make the second worksheet. So what I'll say is I'll say, let me look at my cheat sheet. Okay, WSO2, and we'll say workbook.create sheet. Boom, so that should create a new worksheet. And then now I've got this new worksheet. We can actually give it a new title. And we'll say uh, WS.title, there we go, just like before. And I'll say second sheet. And then I wanna put some values in there, but I wanna put a bunch of values in there. So I'm gonna do a little for loop here. And also say for row in uh, range, uh, we'll say zero to six. And for column, I'll just say call in range, uh, zero to three, boom. And I'll come down here and now I want to, because uh, I want to go, in this case, I want to assign the first uh, six rows and I want to go three cells in. So I want to ma matrix that and put all those values in there and I'll just make a value up. So I'll say value that we're going to put in there and each cell would be the row multiplied by the column. Uh, oops, but in this case, I want to do, well, I'll say row plus one, row plus one times column plus one because 
in Excel world, they don't start at zero, they start at one, right? And also that value, that's, that's the way I want to do it. Uh, so now we say ws02.cell. So now we're going to assign value to a cell. And so for the row and the column, but again, I need to add one, otherwise because we're starting at zero, add one, I'm going to put the value in a value. Boom. So now programmatically it's doing that range. And so we should set a second worksheet and have all those cells propagated. So let me make sure to save that out. Let's see if it runs. Oh, well, run the second one. And now we have the second file out here. So now let me copy the second file here. Oh, sorry, let me copy. There we go. And so now let me open it. And hopefully that did the trick. Okay, so here we can see first sheet, just like we had before, one, two, three. And now we've got a second sheet. If I open up that one, I can see one, two, three, two, four, six. And if I go down to row six, so it should be six times one, six times two, and six times three. And so we can see those are, that's working perfectly. Um, so there you go. There's a simple nutshell, how to install it, how to get the libraries via pip, and how to start making a program. Uh, and so from there, there's going to be a lot more stuff that I want to do, uh, you know, with formatting and and all kinds of stuff that you can do in this that I've, I've actually done a little bit on the side, but I still need to learn a lot more myself. But I wanted this video to be simple, to get, to get you up to speed, get you quick success. And then from there, you can go research, look through the documentation, do much cooler stuff. So hopefully that helps someone out there. So anyway, there you go. Open PyXL, easy to install, easy to use, and this will hopefully help you get out of the gate. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.